My name is Joe Wise. My goal is to swim in the 2008 Paralympics in Beijing, China. So he has a specific type of mitochondrial disorder that does not allow him to process the fuel efficiently, and it's in every cell in his body. But the cells that are mostly affected are the muscle cells because they use this fuel so quickly and rapidly, and they need to turn over. I realized I had a disability uh, around nine and a half. I like my handwriting started to get messier. Um, I couldn't run as fast. And then after I ran, that my hips started hurting me. The diagnosis of mitochondrial myopathy, a rare form of muscular dystrophy, came in March of 2003 after 10 months of doctors and tests. Joe was in the fourth grade. You look at him and you just you just don't think it's it's possible, and then um, and then you always start thinking the worst. Your mind runs wild. You know how, what's, how's this kid to grow up? How's he going to go to high school? Is he going to go to college? Is he going to get married? You know this. You know how's he going to take care of himself? The focus was before of oh we wanted a bigger house, we wanted more room, we wanted you know all these material things, and all the fun material things don't matter anymore. I mean when you're looking at your kids facing a life threatening illness, it's you, you change what you want out of life. A lot of time I saw him sick, he couldn't get out of bed, was very pale. He dropped out of all his favorite sports. Mitochondrial myopathy is a muscular dystrophy disease, which is muscle destructive, but in his case is muscle weakening. So what came to expect is that he would have weakness in his legs and his extremities and also in his chest cavity, which affects his breathing, which would obviously affect his coordination. And, and, his stamina. I think it was really hard for him to accept that his life was changing and so he kind of dove into swimming and it was around the time that the 2004 Paralympics was going to happen in Athens so we introduced him to some Paralympic swimmers and got him excited to see that there was a way for him to achieve dreams. Ever since I found out the Paralympics I started to like it more because I realized there's a point of why my mom was making me swim and so now I've came to love it so it's become more serious swimming. Joe in the last two years has come an enormous way. It's, it's been amazing. When he first came in, I wasn't even sure if he was going to be able to be in the group. Just based on his speed, based on his skill levels, based on his, how much work he could do. But Joe's not putting any limitations on himself because of his disability. He's gone from being in the bottom third of the group to being very, very close to the top four or five swimmers in the group. Joe swims evening practices six days a week. He adds 5.30 a.m. practices twice a week during the school year. Summer workouts are twice a day. Joe won a National Paralympics event for the first time in the summer of 2006. He contracted pneumonia that December, which kept him out of school and swim practice. He returned to partial days of school in a wheelchair after six weeks. Joe didn't let the setback stop him. He made the U.S. Para Pan American team in March of 2007. It was shocking because, I mean, you don't think of a 13-year-old making an international team. It just doesn't seem a normal thing. I had always wanted him to have an opportunity to do international stuff, but there's no way you ever would expect it to happen this fast. Joe's success in the pool doesn't come from practice alone. A team of doctors are involved in his care. They include an allergy and immunologist, a neurologist, a geneticist, and a pulmonologist. They told us that they, because it was an unspecified mitochondrial disease, that they couldn't give us a progression rate, that this disease sometimes can be devastating, and that we would have to manage symptoms. Joe and his family take special care to maintain his health. Once a day, he uses a machine called a vest that removes fluid from his lungs. He sleeps on a ventilator and uses it at least two hours a day and often during swim practice. And he takes an injection of IV immunoglobulin every Sunday to help prevent lung infections. With anyone with a mitochondrial disorder, do you keep losing them or do they kind of stay the same? It's hard to predict. He doesn't really know perfectly what the future might entail, but he's working really hard now to make sure that he's in as much control of it as possible. Swimming is what keeps him going. It's what's driving him. He has a lot of good friends on the swim team. And I think if he didn't have a goal, it would be harder to fight this disease. After practice, surprisingly, I usually feel better. If I go there tired or having trouble breathing, I usually come out breathing well and not so tired anymore. You know, with how well he does, you know, physically in the pool, you know, it almost puts you in a denial state. But also a lot of hope that, uh, you know, by him taking care of himself, that, you know, he's going to have a, a really pretty normal life. I think for anyone that wants to go forward with this type of disorder, Joe shows them that they can do it. I believe that life is precious. You might have like a little bump in the road, you're gonna have to get over it. You might get a flat tire, but there's another one you can change onto it. 
So you just gotta keep going through it, even if you have an incurable disease. Joe's time in the 400 freestyle qualified him for the 2008 U.S. Paralympic team. He will compete in Beijing.